Hello and welcome to my review of one of my favorite movies that I reviewed for this channel so far, and that is the original Karate Kid with Ralph Macchio and Pat Morita. This movie is an absolute classic in my opinion, and that's why I'm reviewing it. I just watched it for the second time yesterday and so yeah i'm here to do the review but before i get into the review i have to say don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this video and want to see more videos like this in the future with that being said let's get into the review so 1984 saw the release of one of the greatest movies of all time and that is the karate kid yes today or tonight or whenever you're watching this I'm going to be reviewing The Karate Kid. I think that it's obviously a really awesome movie, in my opinion. And no matter like what age you are, I think that you could totally enjoy this movie for what, you know, for it, just, just because it is such a good movie. Like, I, I could have watched, I feel like I could have watched this when I was like 10 and still got the same enjoyment as I watch it now when I'm 20. And so... I think, you know, obviously it's good. I think that you have such good characters. I mean, Ralph Macchio uh, does such a great job as Danny LaRusso. Um, and that at the beginning of the movie, he doesn't want to be in California. He just, like, it opens up with them moving out here. He doesn't really like his situation in here. And that's just, it's just, com that feeling is complemented by the fact that he's getting bullied. I mean, for all intents and purposes, He's getting bullied. Um, he does put up a fight, though. He's not just like, he's not just a roll over and let it happen kind of guy. And then he, you know, he befriends uh, Pat Morita's character of Mr. Miyagi, uh, and and they have a great relationship. And it's never like one of those relationships to where it's like, ooh, this could be kind of creepy. You got an old dude hanging around with a teenager, like that. You know, that could be kind of creepy. No, in this movie, it's never. It never has that kind of tone. Like when they're alone together, it's not like it's not. It doesn't give you any sense that this could be something that's uh wrong. It's absolutely uh seamless. It's absolutely uh necessary as far as the movie goes and it's totally believable and also elizabeth shu as ali mills uh ralph macchio's girlfriend or love interest in this movie uh they them two have great a great relationship with him being uh of a certain you know he is a certain like he's a certain type of person he's not rich ali mills is rich and she lives in a big house with you know, tons of money, and she can pretty much do whatever she wants, and then, you know, Danny LaRusso, he's not rich, he comes from a different, uh, lifestyle, and it, their relationship goes back and forth between, they even have a fight where he's like, hey, you know, just admit that you can't take, you can't handle the situation, and it's totally not like that, they work it out in such a believable way that it's like, okay, yeah, these two actually have a a, a actual relationship and you believe that they could be compatible with each other and that they could uh they could fall in love with each other also um you know william zabka as johnny lawrence man this dude look he is the for all intents and purposes bad guy but he's not the bad guy in my opinion he's he's not sure i get that like when when him and his friends like push not push but f nudge danny towards that hill that yeah that totally like could have been murderers that night but it's it's one of those things to where i feel like daniel was never he he, can't, he was asking for it sometimes you know, yeah, he, you know, yeah, uh, Johnny Lawrence is a jerk in the movie, but so is Daniel at one point in this movie. Like, Daniel destroy messes up his Walkman or whatever he used back then. Like, in that bathroom scene when Danny, like, f pours water all over him, you, t you, that, jo Johnny Lawrence is using some kind of, uh, tape player, and those things do not do well with water. I mean, it's just, just the honest truth and so Danny's kind of a jerk too and so Johnny Lawrence to me William Zabka is just so good in this movie and I think he's you know 
every great movie that has a hero and a villain if your villain's not too good your movie is not too great but this villain is amazing and that's why the movie is amazing let's talk about the story in this movie the, the story is you got Dan, daniel larusso who's coming out to california uh he falls in love with this girl or he falls for this girl and they hit it off and then this guy johnny lawrence kind of gets in gets in their way and is is a jerk i will admit it he's a jerk at the beginning of this movie and he you know danny danny larusso is kind of he's he's ticked at him and throughout the movie uh they uh johnny lawrence and his friends keep on bullying him danny's like hey what danny retaliates and then they beat him up pretty badly but but mr miyagi who's one of the greatest like he's one of the greatest mentor characters i think in any movie that i've ever seen and that's why that's why this movie works so well um but mr miyagi helps him out teaches him karate and then they have this big tournament at the end of the thing and that's where danny larusso fights his and or deals with his enemies at that tournament and johnny lawrence and it's an amazing it's an amazing great hero's journey but the thing to me about the whole story and the character and all the film school things about this movie the thing to me that really stood out was that even the villain had an arc you have at the beginning of this movie you have johnny lawrence who is your villain he has an arc at the beginning of this movie he's the jerk at the end of the movie he totally respects daniel he respects daniel he gives him the trophy when daniel beats him and then he's like you're all right kid you're all right it that's something that not a lot of that's something that uh like sometimes when you you see movies where they're good but their villains not so great it's probably it's sometimes not all the time but sometimes it's because your villain stays the same all throughout and sometimes that's good but it, i think what separates good villains from great villains in my opinion is when you have villains that have an arc that change throughout the movie just like your heroes change from where they are at the beginning of the movie to where they are at the end of the movie and that's why i think that this movie does such a great job uh, with your characters and this is definitely a character driven movie rather than you know driven by the karate or the the or the you know high school vibe of it it's not it's driven by the characters and i think that the best thing about this movie is the fact that the villain has a very real and believable arc let's bring this to an end in my opinion my verdict for this movie is an absolute blu-ray like what i don't know why i haven't blu-rayed this movie i don't know why i don't own this i mean on and and have it in my itunes thing i don't know why i rented it it's so good it's an absolute blu-ray like i'm gonna go look for the blu-ray now although although the one the one gripe i will give not gripe but the one thing that i will say is that johnny lawrence is the karate kid okay he's been at the cobra kai dojo for for a long time it seems like he is the karate kid he's the former champion of that tournament that they had i don't i don't understand why danny larusso i i get that he's the nice dude and you're supposed to root for him so he's He's the Karate Kid, but Johnny Lawrence is absolutely the Karate Kid. Been training a lot longer. He, Danny, just got lucky with the crane kick. He just got lucky that he learned that from watching. Like, come on, you did learn the crane kick from watching? Fine, Mr. Miyagi said there was no defense against it, but but hey, that's the only thing. Is Johnny Lawrence is the actual Karate Kid? Danny Larusso's the up and coming Karate Kid. Well, there you go. That's my review of the 1984 Karate Kid. But that's just my opinion, and that is just the start of this conversation because I want to know what you think about this movie. So I need you to go into the comment section down below and tell me your thoughts down there. Or 
you know, if you want to keep it really short and 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 you know, 144 characters, you follow me on Twitter or at me on Twitter. You'll find that link in the description down below. But I definitely want to hear from you about this really awesome movie. And any way you want to, go ahead. And like I said, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this video and want to see more videos like this in the future. And if you want to get notified every time I put up a new video, you can hit that little bell next to the subscribe button and that will send you push notifications every time I put up a new video. And thank you for watching this one.